there's late bloomers and then there's Brett Simpson. And he's getting close to 30. And he qualified at around 26. And he's been a great surfer all this time, but now, and I think everyone is in the same boat as me, this year was the first year that we all thought, oh, he's for real. Yeah, he went to US, US Opens, this is his backyard. So that just goes out the door. But last year, the Chopu argument, the lowers against Jordy, he was just taking it to guys. He had some crazy heats with Parco. Very challenging heats, and if I was on the beach, I would've been very scared to be next to his dad. It's all about realizing where he's at with his surfing now and kind of taking the throne. He's California's hope right now. He's an incredible surfer that can get barreled. He's a big, powerful football body. Brett was never one to press an issue, whether it was in a heat or with, with exposing himself to unwanted criticism. And now he has that confidence to put it all on the line and come in for better or worse and be proud of the way he serves. Before it was, I'm young Brett Simpson from Huntington and I'm trying to just do this. And then it was, yes, I won two US Open titles, but I haven't done anything else and I barely qualified. And I'm getting upwards in age and everyone else has already been on tour for five years. You guys are qualifying and winning events at 17. But now, and it shows these kids that it's not over till it's over and you can keep improving and keep working on your craft. And Brett Simpson, I, I really think that he can beat anyone in any conditions, and if he puts together a full year, there's no reason why he can't be battling at the end of the year against the likes of a Gabriel Medina in the future, a Chloe Andino for a title.